Hello and welcome to another episode of the Steam Free to Play. I keep wanting to say the Road to Community Warfare because I did so many of those goddamn episodes. But here we are again in our Goss Storm Pro, and I am in group matches again. I have grouped up with my uh, my main accounts uh, buddies. The, the no. Uh, I said Nova Galaxy. The Clan Novacat International, which are the, the groups I'm a part of. Uh, Pariah Devalis and Saber Avalon. Just gonna do some matches with these guys. And I just want to group up with them because I, I've played a bunch with them. And I definitely feel that knowing them, I can I, I can leave my back to them. I know. Pariah, you'll cover me, right? Alright. Let's move forward. We are are in our laser and gauss storm crow, so we are looking to get some good sniping lanes on. We're gonna move up here towards the center and see what we can see. And again, we are in the group tier, so holy shit, it's a whole bunch of mechs uh, that are all from the same company. And this is definitely uh, a 12 man because you can't have an 11-man group in group queue, so Tarogato is definitely a part of that group, meaning that the enemy is a 12-man. But we get a good shot in here. Oh, and they're pushing, they're pushing over the center hard. And we're gonna flip back onto this side, and we're going to, oh my god, their aggression. Oh. Uh, well, we'll take some shots at Tarogato while we can, and uh, this is probably a GG situation already. But we shall see what we can do. Oh, they will to start making rush. There was no way we were going to counter that one. And that is a perfect example of what a um, well-organized group can do. Because they can just kill you like that. And unfortunately, we're going to go down here. <laughs> Man. Let's try to take as much damage as we can and try to take down a couple before we go down. Is that Hugin there? We put in a good shot, but they're coming over the center now. So we will try to shoot them as they come. It's a good shot there into that griffin as we're going to continue to fall back. They are a short range group, so we want to continue to have the range to work with here. But unfortunately, they're just going to charge over at us. We're just going to take a shot at the first one that comes over the edge here. And they are going to run us down as we'll try to get off one more good shot. Oh, we take somebody out right at the end, but we get taken down. So, unfortunately, that's what can happen sometimes in group queue, is you do have these very large groups, so this was a 12-man, and they are very organized in terms of their ability to all push at once, and they're all playing a very, very similar build. They're all running a very short-range uh, striker-brawler mix. So, good game to our opponents, even though it was a stomp it was a really good example, and I'm glad I could have gotten that into the video of showing uh, what can happen sometimes. But we'll move on to the next game, and we'll probably have four matches in this episode because that was a little too short. All right, on to the next match. And for our next match, another 12 man. Oh, it's all right. We will do fine against them because we will eventually succeed I mean it's the law of averages right I just keep playing matches so we'll eventually get to 50 50 <laughs> oh well we're gonna go we're gonna go find my favorite tree on this map and we're gonna hold up there for the first bit so I'm gonna run straight up there and get behind my favorite tree right up on top there and snipe down at the people moving through the center uh, uh, get on through that Target stupid acquired. ass log 
Oh, that is something that is going to be changing in the next patch. Some of these logs are going to be destructible, and it's going to be glorious. I can't wait to run around this map and just destroy everything. But we're going to get up on here, and we're going to pull into our favorite tree. Oh, wow. There's mechs. Oh, there's mechs everywhere, it seems. But we're going to take a shot at the Janner. I think I missed my Gauss rifle, but I scared him off, and he's fallen down. So we're going to move forward here. Oh, there's an enemy acquired. there. It's a blackjack moving in. We got a couple of fast movers going for Kappa. New target acquired. Bunch going for Kappa. Oh yeah, and a bunch coming for Kappa. All their heavies. We gotta start helping. Firing down at Kappa. I got my phone ringing from the United States. What do they want? New target acquired. Oh, I can't answer now. I'm fighting it up on Jaguar. But I'm on. Target destroyed. Fall. Good, you're down. Excellent. Oh my god. So many opponents down there. Target Missed that Gauss acquired. rifle. But we're just going to work the corner all here. All and we've gotten that information out that the, all the opponents are over here. Ow. We're back into cover. Wait for them to lose interest in me. Poke back out and plug another Gauss round into them. Oh, got, gotta protect that left arm. Can't let it get destroyed. Because that is my main weaponry. New target acquired. Quad AC5 Jagger. He's core through the CT. Take him down. Excellent work. Mom, well, <laughs> saying that to myself. <laughs> Hellbringer there. Oh, I should have got for those right torso. I didn't have the information, so I shot CT, but I needed that right torso enabled to take him out. So, it's unfortunate sometimes you don't get that information and you're not able to finish an opponent like you wanted to be able to. Oh, I thought he was going to jump a different way, uh, but he gets taken out as he's jumping along, and we're winning this match. Excellent. We're winning against a 12-man. So it shows that it can be done. As long as you pay attention to what's happening, you give that call out, that information. I Target called out destroyed. that multiple enemy mechs were coming towards Kappa. We formed up our firing line, and we were able to fight back effectively and defeat the the juggernaut of a 12-man. Excellent work. And not too high of a damage, but you might find that when you start doing these more precise sniper builds, that your damage is going to be a bit lower because you're doing damage um, more accurately. It's not like lasers where I'm going to smear it over everything. It's, I'm going to attack that one, and I'm going to hit it with this much damage, and then it just dies. So you should see your damage efficiency can go up in the sense more kills for less damage but we got 135,000 and unfortunately <laughs> premium time is over because the event is over and all the premium time I had has run out but alas on to the next match for this video all right and here we are again against Ison. oh these are the guys who just SRM rushed us so we're sharing that information and we're grouping up and we're going to be using that knowledge that they are going to be short range and we're going to hide back here in the airport area where they is completely open ground and they have to cross this big area in order to get to us but we have some uh, I would say some fairly skilled people in our team. I know Lord Scarlet Johan and GA Man 5 are extremely good pilots, and QQ is a, a fairly reputable team. So I, I feel confident in our chances wow, of defeating the 12 man wow. menace. Wow. We can go all the way back to B8. Best that we've got. Get distance before they get here. 
Oh man, it's gonna be like a shooting gallery. It's gonna be great. We can just get ourselves up back in the distance here. Get ourselves right up here in the mountain. Get our the sun out of our eyes. And we'll just start looking for our opponents. I have fun sniping them from from way over there with like that awful New target acquired. Ooh. Bravo on the bridge, Stormcrow. Roger, incoming. Now they are quite far off. Okay, man, New keep target running. Acquired. We shall see what we can do here. Those at home. But man, this knowledge of knowing that they are a short range group is giving us all of this ability to pick our engagement area which is going to be this long range zone and we don't have to leave it we're, we're forcing them to come to us come and get us try to egg them on we want them to come across Now, if they take a little while, I'll cut or fast forward to that point. If not, we'll hear the commentary all the way through. Because they are massing on that left side. So we're going to go over here. We're going to have that a few more seconds of time because they need to cross the airfield in come. order to get here. And here they come. Here they come. Okay. We're going to start putting fire down. We're going to switch to heat vision so we can see them a maybe a bit better it is a little difficult to do in this changing light and my skill at Gosser, oh there we go now we can see him but here they come we're gonna just focus the target try to take it out Got that side of the Hunchback 4SP. Flip back into heat vision here. And we'll start moving away as we continue to fight. We want to keep that mobility up. Took the leg off of that Thunderbolt. And we'll just go for his other leg as well. Excellent. Now we're going to swing around. Trying to maintain that distance away from our opponents. And while it's not being a perfect fight, we're not winning this guaranteed, it is definitely much closer than the last time we fought these guys because we had that level of organization set up. Another shot into that Stormcrow. It's 4-4. It is completely equal. Oh, missed that Goss Rifle round. And just trying to shoot at whatever we can there. Again, we're going to try to pull range over New here. Just trying to acquired. move back. Everything went better than expected. And we are taking out legs. Excellent. And that is limiting their mobility and destroying Target their ability acquired. to Target get close destroyed. to us and use their short range weapons against us. We've got this Arctic Cheetah here. Just a little difficult to shoot at. Maybe I can turn off my, my heat vision there. I'll probably keep it on for visibility's sake. But a lot of their mobility is gone. And because we had that that's that setup, that foreknowledge to fight that location, we're able to beat that 12 man. Even without even with all of their organization and their <laughs> very well skilled push, we defeated them! So good work to us. Thanks to QQ for working along with us and doing that strategy. We get a win. Excellent. One more match for this video. And for our last match of this video, it's our mortal enemy, Ison. Oh. I've changed up my build, though. 
I got myself a prime right arm and God, why can't I walk forward? There we go. And put on five ER smalls and an ultra 10. Yeah, we're probably going to want to regroup because they're going to rush one side of us with all 12 and just eat us. Yeah, very hard. And we're going to want to have some terrain, like open area between us and them as they approach. Target acquired. So this Ultra 10 can reach out a bit further. I can do a little bit of damage from range. It'll be a little bit difficult to shoot that far, but it does have a range of 540. Uh, hitting Epsi real quick? Or I'll go get Epsi real quick here. So yes, we shall see if this is round three. It's one for one now in our fight against Eisen. We shall see if they they take the championship with their Serm rushing or brawler Maybe rushing. Trying to come in behind us. Uh, we're just going to go over here, and we're just going to go on Epsilon just for the shortest of times, because all we really need for it is to. Uh, oh God. Oh, there comes the push. We just need to turn it to blue, and then we can head back to the fight. Because as long as it's blue, it's getting us points. But here comes the enemies. Holy crap. Acquired. Start putting some fire down range. That's all you can do now. Focus on the Hoogan or whoever's in front. There's that Stormcrow there. We're just going to continue to fall back. And hopefully they're not going to pay attention to us. And they won't come around this corner. And we can get some shots into them. No, jammed up. Why are you jamming? Uh, and I'm just missing now with this. But, no. Unfortunately, Isen looks like they're going to be taking another match. Oh, ah, it's still close, actually. I may have prematurely called it there. We gotta keep fighting it. And never give up, man. Always keep fighting right until the end. Just relying on our cannon here, because we are a little hot. But once it's jammed, we'll move on to our lasers, and we're just going to continue to back up here. Just keep getting space in between. I am working, my mech works better at longer ranges, while theirs work at short ranges. So I'll keep moving back here. Oh, took off his side, oh, saw that he is CT crit, or the side, so we'll just go for either. And once the side or the CT is gone, he's pretty much, well, CT is dead, and the side... He's pretty screwed, but oh, uh, with this rush, there's no way I'm going to survive this. So, unfortunately, I'm going to go down here. Ah! Taken out. Let's see how the rest of the team is doing. Look here, we've got two left, and they've got seven. So, this will most likely go to them unless there are some... Target acquired. Miraculous things happen. But let us see what our last few mechs can do. We have a Wolfhound here. We have a Jenner 2C with a bunch of SRMs. And he's doing his best, but his leg is taken out. And unfortunately, his other leg will be taken out here in just a second. He goes down. We've got our... Oh no! He's overheated in the center. And we got that... Hoogan, who's moving in behind him. And is he our last? He is our last, so we'll watch this, watch this guy until the end, which happened right there. But, no, they pulled ahead. It is now 2-1 in our fight against Ice in this, um, this video. So, unfortunately, uh, not a very good payout. We don't have the premium bonus, and pretty much no experience because hardly any of the enemy team that I shot died. I only got two kill assists. But, oh well. We shall take our licks and go back and play another match.
All right, what has to be the last match of this episode is going to be here on Skirmish on Alpine Peaks. And like m most games on Alpine Peaks, we're just regrouping with the team and heading towards the hill in order to get some dominance over it. Again, we're in our UAC 10 5ER small design, and we're just pushing forward. And almost unfortunately, we aren't against Ison again. Because can you imagine how difficult it would be to rush Serms on a map that you can see everyone coming from multiple kilometers away? We could just <laughs> plunk ourselves on a hill and just be like, turkey shoot, but uh, oh well. We're moving along here. Moving up towards the hill. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone firing line in eight nine. Nine. Okay. I'm just going around if you think from the side from box nine. Alright, let's take that um I don't know that we have enough range. Idea and let's go to the side here. See what we can do. I suppose to it though. I do have enough range to do this. I have the five forty with my Ultra Ten. I can put some fire down, uh, but I'll have to do it from G9 here. I don't think I can go all the way over to F9. I'll just have to come and use my left side weapon to sneak around this corner, see if I can see any opponents. But fortunately, I cannot. Now there is the possibility that I can jump down and get close. Um, in H10, using that hill there. But we shall continue yeah, to move around the left here. Just stay with our group. As the opponents are just over that ridge. Fortunately, I don't have jump jets or indirect weapons such as LRM, so I cannot help out in this situation. All I'll yeah, do is just drop uh, down like back here. And I just nine. Yeah, I keep, keep moving with our allies. Keep regrouping so that... We want to we try and climb the back one of the hill. Nice big ball. <sighs> or if we can shoot him out from here. It's plenty of cover if they shoot LRMs. Move up yeah, here. There. See what Just, we can uh, see. I think a lot of us we are a little bit higher here, so we should be able to see over that ridge. Yeah, we can see the terrain on the other side of it, but still can't see any opponents. Now, we also need to watch out for them on our right side here. Make sure that they. one eye down. Towards, uh, they don't come around flank, that side all. and flank us. We'll just yeah, pop up over here, okay. and put some shots down, and then fall back into cover. Do it again. And you gotta love that double tap of the AC-10. New target acquired. We're getting that Cataphract 3D super New open. Ooh, a lot of fire incoming, incoming missiles. We're just gonna fall back, fall down this hill. Oh god! Incoming missile. And we're going to. I feel like my range is better suited here, coming around this side. So this is where we're gonna go, and we're gonna fight. There's a few on the right. Uh, I saw three different ones so far. Just gonna just try not to chase the squirrel, only take what you need. Just hold them back there, holding that position. We're gonna let them come Their around as far as possible. They may be shifting. Yeah, I think they probably are. Yeah, let's get ready for a rush from H8. Yeah, it's not like they can push H10 to Fox 10 anyway. Look at the shadows, you can see their mechs. That's just what I was gonna say. And that's a nice little trick. You can use that against them, so you can see as they are stacking up on that corner, ready to come around. New target acquired. Delta went down. That was the cataphract that got ripped up in the beginning, and now we are New winning the exchange, acquired. and they have to come to us. And that hunchback is walking down. I don't want to take a shot right now because our Panther here was walking in front of our fire, but now they're down three. They definitely have to come to us if they want to have any chance of winning. 
Let's so, go. ooh, we got incoming missile. I wonder how they got a lock on us. Well, prior to Voss is down me no. up from the back. I don't know if it's friendly fire or destroyed. so there's an enemy behind us, but I got nailed. We are down one or so. There is that last on the hill. He might be coming down. Yeah, there's one up on the right in F8. ECM Raven. He's spotting for their lerms. There's also a flash truck moving on the top of the hill. So we're just going to keep an eye on that yeah, Raven. Group up, push as one around H9. And is... Oh, never mind. They're all already mobilizing. Let's keep going here. We'll just keep an eye back for that raven. Me from behind, though, hit me hard. The raven's coming Very in. Hard. Our urban mech, watch out. Urban mech, watch out. You guys down at the bottom of the hill, be careful down there. We're just going to move back here, and that raven only up by two, so took out know. another. But now we're on him. That uh, Raven shot a UAV in the above you, man. He's on us, he's on us. I'm just gonna try to take shots at this Raven as it weaves through our allies. Raven's legs. Raven's down. And we're good, and we just need to move forward. That UAV is in a bad position. We can just move out of its range. Ah, jamming at the wrong times. We'll just continue to push forward. Alright, let's just push. We got the numbers. Yeah, we're up by six. Let's do it. New target acquired. Let's come around this corner and we'll focus on this. Where you at? Mauler. They got, oh, they got a UAV back there. They got a UAV back there. I thought we were pushing. I'm out alone. Don't worry about the UAV. They're all in front of you. Six o'clock. To your right now. Three o'clock. Warning incoming. Shoot for that torso. Yes, he's down. Like a box man on the map. Trying to take some shots in this Nova. Down you go, Nova. Excellent. He's down. It looks like the last there is in G9 on the top of this hill here. So we're just going to try to weave our way up this hill, although it looks like an ally will get there first and scare him off. I'm not sure which way he's going to jump down. Oh, it's going to be just to my left. We're going to fall down this way and try to get at least a bite out of him before... He gets killed. Ah, we are. We got our weapon to flash red. That means we got a bite out of him. And we will get an assist, which is all that really matters. But now we can also try to go for the kill. And we get it! Woo! So we get the kill to finish off the video. Well, that was a. Uh, this should be a little bit longer than normal, but. Uh, You'll have to deal with it because this will be the only video you get all weekend because unfortunately I have to go out of town this weekend and so I will be busy. So we got 135,000 C-Bills, 1 kill, 6 assists, and 241 damage. We're getting some pretty good experience as well and probably by the end of next episode we'll have basic all three of our Storm Crows and we can start looking into the benefits that a leading gives us. But for now, thank you for watching this episode and good hunting.